Hi guys, today we're going to be making an aubergine dal with a homemade chapati. Now this recipe is really, really simple, but it is probably one of the most economical recipes you can make on one pound meals. So we need to roast these aubergines and we've got to get this curry flavour going through them. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw diced aubergines in an oven proof dish. We're going to put a little bit of oil on them and a teaspoon of curry powder. Then we're going to stir it all up, make sure all the aubergine is coated and then we stick it in the oven for about 25 minutes. All curries need a base to the sauce. So for this sauce, we're gonna use a quarter of an onion and one garlic clove, and that is it. Some people like to crush garlic, but I like to use slices. Now the reason behind that is that I'm very paranoid that the garlic's gonna burn. So crushed garlic's gonna burn a whole lot quicker than sliced garlic. And because we need to toast these spices, it's important that we give ourselves enough time for the garlic to cook and the spices to toast. Give it a stir and then literally just leave it on the hob simmering away for about 20 minutes and it's as simple as that. So we've got 400 grams of wholemeal flour. We've got 25 millilitres of water. Going to give it a little pinch of salt and all we're going to do is stir it together. When it looks like it's coming together, just empty it out on a board. Start kneading it with your fingers. Okay, for the fun part, let's start rolling out the chapati. So what you need to do is you need to just form it into like a, a small little circle and then we're going to use a rolling pin and we're just going to make it into a bigger chapati, then we're going to cook it. So, look at that. A couple of spoonfuls of flour, a little bit of water, a pinch of salt, you've got yourself your own chapati. Right, let's go. Let's start cooking the chapati. So if we have a look in the pan, we're going to see some tiny little bubbles starting to form in the chapati. Now these are the parts that are going to toast up nicely and this is what gives the nice chapati characteristic. Right, how amazing is that? The bubbles have come up nicely, they've started to crisp up and we've got ourselves a real chapati here. So you can see it's really starting to bubble up now. So what I like to do is just press down on it with an oven glove and then that's going to give an even toasting to the whole of the other side. Here you go guys, here's your chapati. Right, so the dal is ready and it's time to plate it up. So this is the one pound meals aubergine dal with homemade chapati. Now this was the very first recipe on the list when I was making my cookbook. And if I can inspire people to make a homemade chapati and an aubergine dal, then that is one pound meals. <laughs>